Thank you all for your uh, contributions. Um, I'd now like to uh, invite the Minister, the Honourable Dr Nick Smith, uh, to address us. Uh, kia ora hui tato katoa. Can I acknowledge uh, Roger and acknowledge his leadership on uh, Lincoln, Chancellor uh, Tom Lemby, uh, both uh, Charles Eason and uh, Helen Blakey from the uh, New Centre, uh, and also uh, Duncan from uh, Conovation. Uh, it's an absolute privilege for me today to be invited for the formal uh, launch uh, and opening of the Centre for Wildlife Management, as well as to launch uh, this new tool in the battle for both stoked control and uh, protection of our iconic species like uh, kiwi. Uh, I was privileged in my earlier political career to be the Minister of Conservation and lots of New Zealanders get confused about what bits the Minister of Conservation gets to do and what bits the Minister for the Environment get to do. Uh, and I simply explain that the Minister of Conservation gets to do the fun stuff, the green stuff, and the Minister for the Environment gets to do the brown, dirty stuff. Uh, the part that's so significant about the launching of the Centre for Wildlife Management and Conservation is that too few New Zealanders understand the scale of the challenge that we face in respect of protection uh, of our native species. Uh, I'm privileged to represent New Zealand at so many international conferences around environmental conservation and development issues. And in all of the international contexts, despite some of the debates that we have about fresh water quality, about air quality, uh, the one that sticks out very poorly for New Zealand is the survival of those species that are so special to New Zealand. And in that respect, we can be pretty proud of some of the technologies that we have achieved historically, but anybody who thinks that we are on top of the loss of our native species is that we have got a huge way to go, and that's why, Roger, I'm so pleased to be part of the launch uh, of this centre. Uh, we can get awfully nervous about our own heritage and think that we've been hopeless around the management. The truth is that these islands that we're privileged to uh, inhabit uh, have a unique geological history where we are so separate from mainland, last place for mammals, and that makes something of the unique challenge that we have. Albeit, I have to tell you, I'm also excited not just about the potential for the centre to contribute to New Zealand's challenges around biodiversity protection, but also the amount of international contact that we have with other countries that are facing similar challenges, and where, in my view, New Zealand as a developed country has got the potential to share some of that technology and some of that know-how uh, from centres such as that being launched. Can I also say that it's an incredibly valuable contribution that Lincoln brings to the table around its broader uh, land-based expertise. Uh, in my view, if you are going to crack nuts of this sort, then you need to have the very strong collaboration that is at the core of the centre, uh, and uh, Charlie, the launch of the PAT product. Uh, we were uh, discussing over lunch, and being an engineer from down the road at the University of Canterbury, uh, the importance of actually getting people involved in a university like sort of your own, Roger, to actually be able to get those that come from an animal behavioural science basis, those that come from the toxicological evidence basis, those that come from both an engineering and an economics perspective, to actually be able to collaborate and make projects of this sort of work. And I want to congratulate the university for the way in which you have brought together the different skill sets uh, to make these projects work. I make no apologies about mentioning economics. The truth is that our country, uh, like the world, uh, is in a patch where we need to be continuously thinking around how we do things a whole lot smarter uh, in terms of economics. The biggest single limitation on the capacity for the government to be able to control the pests that threaten our native species is the budget. And 85% of the pest budget is labour. If we can develop technologies that, for instance, are able to have multiple killing traps, traps that may only have to be checked once every 12 months, that makes a humongous difference to how far we can stretch that taxpayer dollar in hanging on to those species that are so special. Equally so, it is my view that whether it be the debate about the latest technology, PAP, or whether it be with 1080, we also need to take a very strongly scientific 
based view around managing those risks. One of my eight responsible agencies is the Environmental Protection Authority, uh, and there is no such thing as zero risk. This is about managing risks in a smart way, and again, I want to commend the work that has gone on with those agencies to make this very uh, significant um, achievement of uh, the launch of PAP. Uh, the truth is, this is a vital tool in dealing uh, with the survival of our iconic uh, Kiwi species. Uh, I think it is hugely significant that it is the first new toxin that has been developed and approved for controlling mammals in 30 years. Uh, it is a first for both New Zealand and the world, and that is a huge tribute uh, to Lincoln, uh, but also <coughs> a tribute to the team, Charles, that have been working with you uh, to get over that mark. I don't think New Zealand has realised that stoats are responsible for 70% of Kiwi chick deaths. Uh, the effect of these predators mean that only 10% of our Kiwi chicks uh, survive. Uh, young Kiwi chicks are particularly vulnerable to stoke predation. I love the comments from the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment who says we talk about stoats threatening Kiwi, like they go up to the Kiwi and say, now if you don't be a good Kiwi, uh, I prefer the team stoats eat Kiwi. Uh, and that is the argument that is going to be required uh, as we use this sort of science uh, to control it. Uh, in my view, we also have to be incredibly conscious around issues of animal welfare. Uh, every one of us has seen the debates, whether it be about pigs or whether it be about chooks, or a whole number of our animal systems in New Zealand. Just as our environmental credentials are important for our land-based industries, so too is our reputation around animal welfare issues and again I want to commend the hard work that has gone into ensuring that the new design of PAP is one uh, which actually provides for a humane way of dealing with the huge pest problem uh, that is associated uh, with stoats. I want to acknowledge the leadership uh, for the research development and registration of PAP. Uh, Dr Elaine Murphy, uh, Duncan uh, McMoran uh, from Conovation, uh, and of course uh, Charles Eason. Uh, this team spearheaded this new development which brought together both public and private sector skills uh, into delivering a new tool for the protection of Kiwi. Nor should we be shy of the fact that there is the potential for this technology and the other technologies that have been developed by the centre to grow industries overseas. Uh, my most recent international visit was to China. <coughs> Uh, and that is a country that, as its economic strength grows, is becoming so much more aware of their environmental challenges. And they were very frank with me in my discussions with my Chinese counterpart, the Minister for the Environment, and he said, we are looking to buy expertise internationally around we're dealing with our environmental problems. We think you guys are pretty good in this space, and we should not be shy of centres such as Lincoln and our public sector agencies taking up the opportunity to sell some of our expertise around addressing these very challenging environmental problems. Uh, as I said, I was privileged to be the Minister of Conservation for a period, uh, and I want to acknowledge that Doc uh, made a contribution in the early stages of funding this project. At the core of what we are attempting to do is to provide leadership around New Zealand's greatest environmental challenge, that around biodiversity. The work that this institution has done increases the chance of our children and our grandchildren, or our mokapuna, to be able to experience the joy of the Kiwi that we celebrate as our own. I'm simply here today to congratulate all those that have been part of those two significant developments. Wish you well in your future endeavours. New Zealand has a lot at stake with your work.